early adopters of new AI tools are benefiting in a huge way, especially for print on demand sellers. And in this video, I want to introduce you to Kittle's AI background tool that I've been using in a number of ways, but specifically there's one way that I think will benefit everybody watching this video. And that's using this tool for AI thumbnails. That means I'm taking the mockups I use that perform really well on Etsy and I'm re-theming them to spin up new mockups so that I'm not using the same cookie cutter ones that all of my competition are using. And I know you probably know what I'm talking about. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get set up and start using it in minutes. Let's get right to it. This tool is extremely intuitive and easy to use as are most of the best AI tools out there for print on demand sellers. So I'm going to get started by taking a very popular Etsy thumbnail that you guys have probably seen before if you've ever looked at Etsy and I'm going to drag and drop it into the AI product background generator. Now you'll notice the first thing it does is it is going to strip the background off of this image. And then on the right hand side over here above my shoulder, we can select different, uh, basically prompts, right? Pre-written prompts that will then be applied when we click the generate button. There's a generate background button right here behind my head and it will spin up new images for us. I actually have some that I've already prepared that I wanted to show you here. Uh, one thing to note though, is that check the license wherever you get your mockups because they don't all allow you to edit the mockups, right? Even if you don't intend to resell. So I just wanted to make that clear, but check this out. I mean, Kittle helped me spin up variations of this pro of this, well, product of this mockup uh, that we've probably seen all over Etsy. Now, one thing you'll notice they do do is at the top and the bottom, their AI tries to like extend it a little bit and kind of estimate what should be there. Similar to like Photoshop, how they have the like magic fill. Now it doesn't always do a perfect job. Uh, and another example here, I actually just uploaded a picture of a hanging Bella canvas 3001 shirt. And then I played around with allowing Kittle to generate different backgrounds behind the shirt. If we want to do one more, let me just show you guys. We can click, uh, how about roses and then click generate background, give it just a second and see what it comes up with. You you'll notice here that it only takes maybe 10 seconds to spin up a new background. But I wanted to just show you guys that it's okay, even with it kind of rendering this as a crop top, uh, it is okay. Because what you can do is pull it up in Photoshop and it may look like this, like what you see behind me here and I'll, I'll full screen it. But you can just crop it and zoom the same way you probably would do on Etsy anyways. And then you can add your designs and you've got a whole new mockup from the one that you purchased or maybe shot yourself if you're a photographer just like that. And what I love about this is guys like on Etsy, a lot of people, there's a lot of overlap with popular mockups. You can set yourself apart so easily, so quickly with Kittle's AI background. All right. So that's one idea I just wanted to show you. Now, some of these are kind of, you know, like the, the black spotted cow print, whether or not that makes sense for your, your niche is up to you, but you can make backgrounds that do make sense for each niche. All right. I just actually had a call today, earlier today, a one-on-one -on -one call. And I said, look, like, don't be afraid to shuffle up your primary thumbnail to make it appeal to the, um, to your target audience, your target customer in each niche. And this is an easy way to do it. By the way, you can also click prompt over here and you can type in your own, uh, like if, let's just say a Christmas of theme snowy winter day. Let's just see what this comes up with. We'll click generate background and let's just say we wanted to use this and it's going to, you know, I said snow, so we're going to have like a white background, probably on a white t-shirt in the foreground, maybe not the best choice, Ryan, but we'll see what it at least comes up with. Uh, but don't forget that you can click prompt and I'm assuming most people by now have probably used a simple text prompt that feeds into an AI tool that generates whatever you requested. And I don't know about you guys, but I think that came out pretty good uh, for a Christmas theme shirt that we can now use using the exact same single mock-up. So instead of going and spending another three, four, five, sometimes more dollars 
on a new mock-up, get as much value out of what you already have that you know works based on your sales data using Kittle's product background uh, AI generator, <laughs> AI product backgrounds generator. All right, guys, and it is as simple as I showed you initially, a simple drag and drop, and then go ahead and either use their pre-built prompts or type your own and you are good to go. Here is just a quick ad that Kittle put together for us using a uh, bottle of ginger bird. I don't know what that is, but a drink, right? So it's not restrictive just to print on demand sellers, but I do know that most of my audience is selling print on demand. And a lot of you guys already have a Kittle subscription as well. So get in here and play around with it. I've got the Kittle expert plan. It gives me 300 AI credits a month so that I can use it on Kittle's generative AI or tools like the product background AI. So guys, I really hope you found this useful. This is a way of using this tool that I haven't seen other people talking about. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please let the YouTube algorithm know by clicking that like button. Please check out Kittle if you haven't already. The link is at the top of the description. So check them out. It is well worth it. If you design in Kittle and you want a user-friendly uh, application that's built into a web browser that helps with print-on-demand design, and it's got the AI features built in that are included. And guys, please drop a comment and let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow with a new video.